This is part two of two for a video tutorial combining moments about the centre line, moments about the keel in order to calculate a vessel's angle of list. So the other tutorial talks us through calculating kg and the new gm. Now we need to calculate our new ggh and subsequent angle of list. So I've got my moments about the centre line table. Again, we've got the weights, the distance from the centre line in metres and moments. Weights are loaded or discharged. We've got where they are in relation to the centre line, so to port or to starboard, and then the moments produced by them, either to port or to starboard. Remember, loading a weight produces a moment on that side. So, for example, loading a weight to port will produce a port moment. However, discharging a weight, for example, discharging a weight from starboard, is going to produce a moment on the opposite side. So discharging from starboard is going to produce a port moment. First line of every table is always our ship. Our ship's initial displacement was 17,922. And reading from the question, we were initially upright, meaning the vessel's centre of gravity was on the centre line. So that would be zero and zero. Any weight multiplied by zero is going to be zero. There are no moments being produced by that vessel whilst upright. Now we've got our weights, so 624 multiplied by the 6.57. Remember we're discharging from starboard, so that's going to produce a port moment. And then so on through the calculation. Discharging from port, moment goes to starboard. Obviously, then when we're Loading the weights, the moments go on the side that they're loaded. So it's the same vessel as before, so our subtotals of weight will be the same and our total displacement will be the same. Okay, we add up the total moments, so moments to starboard added with the moments to port to get the subtotal in each column. You'll see that the total moments to port is greater than the total moments to starboard. So we're going to subtract the smaller number from the larger number. To get a sum of the moments to port, 4822.21. So you see the total moments are to port, meaning our subsequent GGH would be to port and therefore our angle of list is also going to be to port. So in order to calculate the GGH, it's the sum of the moments divided by the sum of the weights. So our moments divided by our weights gives us 0 0.24 for one meters and it was to port because our total moments added up in the port column. And we do our GGH to four decimal places. 
So our GM from the previous tutorial, our final GM was 2.26 meters. So we'll just pop it there to remember. Remember that GM is the distance measured along the center line of a vessel. GGH is the distance the, the vessel's center of gravity is from the center line. In this instance, it's to port of the center line in that. That gives us a right angle triangle. As we know, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. It's plain trigonometry. Opposite being our GGH, adjacent being GM. So tan of the angle of list, or theta, is equal to GGH divided by our new GM. So our GG, uh, GGH of 0 0.2441 divided by our GM gives us the tangent of the angle. Then inverse tangent that answer to get our final angle of list, 6.16 degrees. Okay, We're going to put that to one decimal place, so 6.2 degrees. And it's to port because our moments were to port, therefore our GGH was to port, so our angle of list is also to port. So final angle of list is... 6.2 degrees to port.